Well, Valentine's Day is right around the corner, and today Maria is sharing a thoughtful gift idea to keep our loved ones near with our DIY photo album keychains. <laughs> These are great. Aren't they a perfect gift for Valentine's Day? And here's the thing about Valentine's Day. I just love love. I love my parents, my my uh, the, my kids' grandparents, so it's a gift that they can give to them. And when I think of Valentine's Day, I just want to celebrate all the love I have for everybody. And this is the perfect gift to give for somebody who you can't th think of <laughs> what to get for them, like my mother-in-law. I ask her, I'm like, what do you want? She goes, I just want pictures. So this is the perfect replacement for those old school brag books where you pull out your wallet right, right, and it's right. like this long. Exactly. This is very chic and it, truthfully it can be for your keys but this can go on a gym bag, a golf bag, a purse, anything. A piece of luggage. A piece anything. of luggage, anything. Yes. These are very, very chic and of course they're personalized. Okay and you always have a photo of those that you love yes. right there with you. Okay so let's get started. I know we're starting with a little bit of the um, the nice leather uh, outer case. Exactly. So this is, I'm working with faux leather. This is what uh, they have at the craft supply yep. store and sometimes they come in like those big rolls and big sheets. You can also find like a, a suede or whatever it is that you like to work with. I liked the look of sort of the faux leather because it's very, very chic. So you can see this is what it looks like here. It's a little okay. bit softer on one side and then right. it has the leather feel on the other. So the first step really for this is kind of figuring out what I'm gonna be using for the picture on the inside. So what I did here, I found these little wood pieces just at the craft supply store. And uh, so all I did was Mod Podge a picture on there. You can see that's a picture of me with the boys and Brett. And I just uh, cut a little bit right here using an X-Acto knife. It's really just a little bit of elbow grease and you can uh, just cut that. So this is where I figure out my sizing for the I actual got you. case. So, so the size of the wood will determine the size of the leather case. Okay, exactly. Very so for instance, I just want to give you an idea of how to properly maybe cut it. So I have, I left a little bit at the bottom uh, because I wanted to cut the little point and I left, I had a border at the edge. So let's say uh, mine ended up being about seven inches long and about two inches wide, but just to kind of show you a good way to cut it, uh, what I do is I take my, I use a cutting mat, take my ruler, and then this is just a rotary cutter. Yeah. And so that's what's going to help to have nice clean lines and you can see that easily yeah, cuts it. That'll be a nice and, and clean cut for sure. Exactly. So this is what, and then I end up with what you have in front of you. And I have here as just our, our little template. And like I said, I just cut the, the edges off to make it pointed. And that's what creates this. Now, okay, good to go. And then I, I also like the lettering before we get into the photo itself. Yes. So what did you use there for the lettering to get that on so, there? I wanted to potentially do something with heat on here, but you yeah. can't use heat on a faux leather because it'll melt it. So these are just a permanent vinyl, permanent vinyl letters, and those go on there just fine. But truthfully, you could paint these. You could do absolutely anything you want depending on what you use as, um, you know, like I said, for the faux leather, this is what I thought worked perfectly. Okay. So we do that. Very good. And you do that before you uh, go on to really putting it together. So, so we've got the lettering, we've got the, uh, the outer case. And we have an idea about the photo, but take us through what else we need to know. As okay. Far as how yes. do we get the photo to kind of sit inside that case? How does it actually get yeah, in there? That's okay. Right. So this is what I do. This I have here. What I do is I actually fold it in half. This is the inside. Yep. So you can see I marked here. So I folded it in half. I marked it, and then I cut the inside right here with an X-Acto knife. Now I also cut another piece of the faux leather. This is about a quarter inch wide, about five inches long ish. And so what I do is I actually just put a little. I put one of. I'm going to do this from the inside. Okay. Put Put one through, and then I take my photo and put it through the little slit that I cut. So the slit that I cut is cut based on the size of my the extra little piece I have here. So you put both of them in. All right. And now you've got it in the right place, but how do we lock it together? This is one of my favorite parts about this. This is real fun. I love the sort of the structural look of these rivets. Yes. Okay. So these. This is just uh, this. This hole punch is specific for leather, so it's a leather hole punch. Yep. And as you can see here, I've already punched a couple out, but what you wanna do is you wanna mark it, take your key ring and loop it, and you wanna mark how it's gonna stay like this. See, like that? Yep. You wanna do that, but you wanna mark, so I just took a pencil, and I would kind of put it through here, do my first hole, do my second hole, and you can see I have a mark for my third hole, so mm -hmm. then, after I have all three, I take, this is a, called a double sided, and look, look how much fun this is, wait. Do you want me to help out? Nope. You got it. I got it. Hey Cameron, I work out. So, <laughs> it's actually not that hard. Um, I just wanted, you know, to, to, to tell, to brag a little to, bit, right? Yeah, to show okay. a bit, go ahead. So, you take your, like this, and this is called a double sided rivet. So what you do is you go through all three of these. Okay. And this is also another reason to be excited because I get to use a hammer, everybody. This is real fun. Okay, so put this together. We have our wood here. See this? This all comes set, yeah. with a little rivet set. You wanna put this on there and this here, and all you do 
is take your hammer. Ready for it? Want me to hold that down for you? Are you, you scared? A little bit. A little bit. And boom. Boom. You're done. Isn't that exciting? Excellent. But we're not quite done yet. We got to be able to uh, snap it closed too, right? So you can see I did the exact same thing um, at the top and the bottom with the whole with okay. the leather punch. Yeah. And so. What I wanted to do was kind of make it so it could snap together. So if you're using the, well, you have one for you over there. It says C and an M, that's Cameron. So you can see, what? you could do this that it just lays flat, but I will say with this in particular, you want to use the snap so that it stays shut because the leather one's going to open and close. So you have your little snaps here yep. and it's essentially the same process as uh, you want to make sure that you're putting it in the proper way. So, sort of like the rivet is what it's you're It's the saying. exact same thing okay. as the rivet. And you do this and you put it on here. And if you went to a thing. fancy leather store and you found this, you know, like if you're traveling, whatever you go to the this would be so much money and it looks so professional, it Maria. It does, and you just repeat that, and that's what I'm saying. Like it's just put it on there. I created a template so that I could do this yep. multiple times, and then you put it all together and look at you just snap it closed. Oh, I have these all over here. That one's for I, you. I'm just saying, I, I don't know what else you're gonna do with it. Do we have anybody else with the CM initials? No, it's for you. Pictures of the Matheson it. family inside? I don't think so. Full <laughs> you know where to go. Hallmark channel.com, everybody. Maria, thank you so much. It's for you. This is really And nice. there's one for Debbie too.